Hello, hello, and welcome to a new video. My name is Kayla, also known as Kayla Fit. We're on our running journey. It is week three. I don't want this whole video to just be about running because all my videos have been about running lately. I don't really care. This is just what I'm passionate about right now, so you're going to get used to it, okay? But we will share more than just running because it is Friday. It is about to be the weekend. No, it is the weekend. The weekend is happening. It's right now. It is happening, okay? So I'm going to take you guys along. Got a little bit of a date night tonight. I won't show you too much because I want to keep that personal, but I do want to show you guys a little bit, the outfit, getting dressed, getting ready. I'll take you guys through that. But here's today's fit. We're going on our last run of the week. I have not recorded any runs for you guys. I've recorded them for Instagram and TikTok, but I have not recorded them for you guys. This is the last 20 minute run of week three. And I also signed up for a little bit of a race on Sunday. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. I don't know how we got here, but it is what it is. Okay. We got a win I'm eating a donut. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, hopefully you guys were not too in her face because I couldn't see, but this is the fit that we got going on. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. The new seamless. These aren't seamless, Kayla. These are the new compression capped tees. I definitely could have gotten a small in them because as I'm like moving around, see how they like bunch up like that? Yeah, that drives me insane. So it's not optimal, honestly, for running be for me because of they're a medium and they keep moving up. I definitely should have got a small, but that's okay. Now I know. And they're super comfortable. They're super thick material and they're not see-through. I'm wearing a gray bra underneath here. You can't even really tell. So we love that. Super cute. Cropped comes right above the belly button. And then I don't remember what leggings these are, but I really like them. I'll put it on the screen if I figure out what they are. Some of the more leggings I've been wearing have been sold out. So there's no point in me telling you about them unless I restock. But then we got our new balance on, which I'm still loving. I still need to go to a run shop. So maybe we'll go to the run shop this weekend and I'll put that in this vlog too. We're going to add that to do, to do list. I want some running socks really bad, specifically for running. And then I also learned a new way to tie my shoes, which I'm going to show you guys before we get on the run. But body is body yaddy yaddy Body is, body is, I don't know. I just feel good. You know what I mean? A little confident, girly. I have not been to the gym in two weeks. <laughs> We have arrived. We have arrived. We have arrived. We are here. We are. We are in the building. There's something going on. There's um something going on. Come on, bro. Like, can I just have one thing that's mine? Why do my cats have to be in everything, bro? Frick off. There's some event going on that like building stuff for. I'm gonna ask. What's going on? It says welcome to Jazz at the windmill. Oh no, their banner thing's flying away. Should I get it? Someone had to see that. Someone had to have just seen that banner fly off. No one? Is that a cow? There's a fucking Wait. <laughs> There's a cow, bro. Baby movement. <laughs> Here I am thinking looking at a banner flying away. There's a cow. I'm gonna get as close as I can to it without someone yelling at me. And I'll show you guys. We're getting ready for our run. Hopefully it's not too windy. Hopefully you can hear me fine. Last run of the week, 20 minutes. Like I said, let me roll this window up actually so you guys can hear me fine. I have not been to the gym at all and that's totally fine. Like it is what it is. It's okay. We're fine. I just haven't been. I know I said last video I was like feeling so inspired like I actually was when I took a week off but then I just like wasn't anymore. I don't know. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna show up. I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna just be a runner but I've just been kind of just just letting myself do my thing, you know? Is that a baby cow? There's a baby cow. What do they call those? Calves. I'm just letting myself kind of do what I want. Not, I'm showing up for my runs and that's honestly making me really happy and that's what's important, but I do need to make sure that I am um, lifting too. Otherwise I'm gonna slither away. All my muscles are gonna just slither, slither away. And we don't want that, you know? So how am I feeling? Mm, I don't know. Not really sure about this. We'll see. The vibes are really play such a big role like into the running. So we just gotta like switch the vibes. But I wanted to just show you guys this new way of lacing my shoes. Probably not gonna be the best angle, but you basically take this shoelace and see these two holes here. You pull it through one and make a loop like this. You do it on both sides, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, you're gonna take the shoelace and instead of just like tying normal, you're gonna go through this loop and you're gonna pull that loop and same with the other and then you're gonna tie it and it, it's a, called a heel lock. It's called a heel lock and it locks, it really locks you in. Like it locks me in so much better. So that's how I'm tying my shoes now. Let's go into Dan's. No, you guys aren't gonna be able to see me now. Oh my God. How the hell he sit like this? Oh my God. I'm gonna put you guys somewhere else. Put me in the ground. Like seriously, be for real. Maybe I could show you. This is not the best angle, but you have these loopy loopy schloopies go through here. Then you pull this and you go through here, right? And then you 
pull and you tie and it locks you in bro like this shit locks you in i gotta go talk to that cow i gotta go see that cow so yeah that's the new shoelace way doggy i saw it on tiki tucky so see on the other side mother frickers the sun is out the sun's not been coming out in the morning but it comes out in the afternoon and it makes me so happy so sun's out motherfucking guns out we're not gonna have any more guns if i don't hit the motherfucking jam bitch <laughs> Okay, there's a lot happening around here. As you guys saw, I got to see the shmoomoos. Got to see the shmoomoos, which is pretty cool. Oh my God, I'm thirsty. I had to run like what? No, I had to pee. Bitch, you were running. I had to pee like 15 minutes. No, 10, three, three minutes in. I was like, nope, you're holding it. It's 20 minutes, you're gonna be fine. Had a mile PR, I think for like nine minutes and something, which is good because Sunday I signed up for a, a mile. I just, I'm going to run a mile as fast as I can. It's at like this little race thing for the 5K. I didn't feel confident running a 5K, so I didn't want to. So I don't want to walk run. I want to run the whole thing. And I don't feel ready for that. So I only signed up for a timed mile, which I'm actually still excited for. And then signed up, I'm signing up for a donut theme round rock race in, um, in May, I think it is. And you have like, you get like a dozen donuts halfway through. I don't know. It's pretty cool. So we'll see. That'll be a 5K. What else? Although it was my best mile, that person does not know how to park and they just took out their front end. Oh no, honey. I, if I cannot drive, please take my take everything away from me. Like when I get to the point that I can't drive, just take it all. Take my keys. Take everything away from me. Don't let me out in the streets. What was I going to say? Oh, first, first like mile was fine, but then I was like dragging ass after that so badly. I don't know. I feel like ever since I got to the 20 minute marker, it's been so challenging and so much harder. I don't know. Like I got 25 minutes starting next week. So hopefully it gets easier because I don't know like why, like I figured by the end of this week with my 20 minutes, although my times are getting faster, I figured I would feel better about the 20 minutes, but I just felt like dog shit. So I don't know if you guys have any tips let me know any thoughts let me know please <laughs> but yeah the cows honestly made me happy like I would not go near the cows until I ran I was like you're gonna run this whole thing and then you're gonna go see the cows she's just leaving her car like that that's crazy bro she's parked in like two spots like not on purpose on total accident and she looked at it and like she's fine with it it's just her and her little dog I mean it, you know you do you boo boo i gotta go get ready because we have dinner in like less than two hours and i really want to get dialed up i want to look cute and i've been asking dan to really go on a date like really really go on a date where we get ready and we're just present we cherish each other get, get some drinks so i'm very very excited about this so i'm gonna get ready and get cute and look like girl so um i'll see you when i'm getting ready okay we're ready i know i was supposed to record me getting ready but I was sweating so much that I just wasn't wearing any clothes, so I can't record that. <laughs> but this is the fit. Hopefully you can see, I don't know how much room there is in here. I'm on the Young LA for her cargos. They're super cute. They make the bum look so good. Then I have on this shirt from Aritzia. Look at the back of this shirt. Super cute. I'm not sure where he's taking me, so that's why I have this jean jacket. One, because it really, really brings it together, but two, because I need a jacket and this is the only jacket I have. Hair, not really happy about, but it is what it is. I can't really care. It's, as long as it's clean and it's doing something, it's really fine. I'm fine. Don't care. Can't care. That's the fit. And I'm gonna wear some Adidas shoes. But we're working with mommy. I don't know if I, I like, I think I like how high these go, but I also have another pair of cargos that I think fit a little better but they may be too wrinkly. I don't know, whatever, I'm overthinking it. <laughs> because I want some running socks. I'm running my, like a mile race tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know if I talked to you guys about it, but I really want some running socks, maybe some running shorts. I don't know. So we're gonna go see. So let's see what we can find. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, it is a few days later. I actually went back to the mall, but I went to a different mall. The mall that I was at last when you guys were watching me, I found one pair of running socks. Uh, they were originally like 15 bucks. I think I paid like six bucks for them and they were a little bit too big. I'll still wear them, but they were a little bit too big. I just got them because they're on sale. And then I got a pair of running shorts from Nike, but I didn't try them on because I was too lazy. Max, please. I come back home, try them on. Should have got a medium. So I need to go return those and I don't even know if I'm going to get a medium. I should probably try the medium on and see if anything, but I just ordered two pairs of running shorts off Amazon. Super cheap, a little over $20 from Crazy Yoga. So I'll let you guys know what I think about that and we'll go from there because I'm really struggling to find running shorts and it's frustrating because it's going to get really hot here soon. And I want to have running shorts. Like I don't want to just run in like performance bottoms or biker shorts. I want to run with like, I don't know, we'll see. I feel like as I continue to run, that will probably change. But right now I want running shorts. And I went to Lululemon yesterday and Aloe. Aloe yoga, understand emphasis on yoga and athleisure. There was nothing like fitnessy about Aloe in my opinion. It's just athleisure. Like none of their stuff was made for like work running or like it just wasn't like I asked her where the running stuff is and she like was like well, we don't have a running specific and then showed me some items that could work but I was just like interesting I thought aloe was like a workout brand but more athleisure so now you know left there and went to Aritzia because Aritzia has some like their TNA collection is really really good and they had these running socks I didn't buy them at first I went to Lululemon to check on the running socks there theirs are just so ridiculously priced so I went back to Aritzia, they get some stuff at Lulu, I'm gonna show you. I went back to Aritzia and I got these golden, what are they called? Golden Goot, I don't know. They're golden socks uh, and they're, I think they're TNA gold, I don't know. I forget what that is, what that brand is from Aritzia. I'll link all of this stuff down below. For a three pack of these, it was only $25 versus a normal pair of running socks, just one is like 22 to $25. So three pack of these with the tabs, they're super, super soft, stretchy, they have a little heel lock area. Like they're just really comfortable. I haven't run in them yet, but I did try them on. And then I got a crew, I must say, I always want to say crew neck. No, I got a crew sock <laughs> of them as well. Um, so you can see same material, same like heel lock looking thing. They're just like really comfy. And so for three of the the high sock ones was 28. So altogether I got six pairs of socks for the price that you would pay for three pairs from like a company like Bombas or Features or whatever. So we're gonna try these out. Hopefully they're great and be a nice bang for my buck. And then I'll probably try some Amazon ones out too, just so you guys don't have to spend, like I'm just trying not to spend as much money as possible because running is such an expensive sport. So I'm trying to see if there's a way that we could get good quality stuff for cheaper and I wanna let you know. So try those out down below. I'll keep you updated on them in the next vlog. And then I went to Lulu. And at Lulu, tried on shorts, didn't like anything, but I got this running hat that I really am obsessed with and it's meant for like a ponytail. So you could wear a ponytail. I wish you guys could see Max. He's just sitting here watching like you guys are the, like the audience. So one, it's so thin and comfortable and it's white, which I wanted for the summertime because I don't want my head like burning off. And then in the back, you can see it has that huge opening. So you can put like a high pony, a mid pony, and you're gonna be fine. And this is really comfy. I almost wish they made it in another version where it didn't have that. They probably do, but I'll link this for you guys as well. And then I ended up getting this new shirt that I have on that is definitely not for running, but it's, the material is unreal. Let me show you. Shop shoddies. <laughs> Please. This is the Wonder material or something. I don't know. I'm not wearing a bra underneath it, but it is so, so soft, so comfortable. They had crop ones. Then they have full length ones. And so I got a full length one for research and development for shoddies, <laughs> but also because I really, really like shirts like this. So I'm obsessed with it. I'll link everything I just talked about down below. And... Yeah, that's gonna wrap up this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm already in week four of running at 25 minutes and had a really good run yesterday and I'm gonna update you guys on that in the next vlog. What else? I think that's it. So I love you guys so much. As always, remember, control controllable and believe in yourself because it's half the damn battle. Peace. What'd you guys say, Mackie? Oh, what else? Do you have anything else to say? Speak. Can you hear him purring? Max.